if you're wanting to do more, if you're wanting to improve and do above and beyond what maybe your coach is already doing with you weekly, you gotta make sure that your nutrition is compensating enough and your rest is compensating yeah. enough. This looks like it's coming from Twitter. We've got Carla Gayton. What's up, Carla? What is the difference in my workouts at home slash gym during season sports? Should I work out outside of practice? Carla asked a question in a previous episode, she was a soccer player. If you looked at most pro athletes, now I don't know where you are in the spectrum, if you're just you know a high school athlete or if you're actually training to be pro, most trainers wouldn't have their pro athletes training hard on the day of game an actual day. soccer right. Right. Game. game day. So you kind of have to be very strategic with your workouts. Like you don't want to go crush a leg workout when you have a <laughs> soccer game that it will night. End well. Yeah, so you just kind of have to be pretty smart with it. You can still get out for some walks during the day, but when it's game day, try to just focus on getting some relaxation, get some stretching in, get some mobility in, and then go kill the soccer game at night. Yeah, from what I remember from my athletic days, when you're having on season and off season, the on season is really more about the games themselves. Yeah. And that kind of serves as your workout. I mean, not that you're not doing any other workouts, but like he said, you're not crushing it. Um, in the gym to go out on the field and then have those noodle legs. Yeah. So you kind of have to like save yourself for the games. And then in the off season is when you really hit it harder. Mm -hmm. And even if you're doing your workouts at home, like you said, or at the gym, it doesn't matter either way. You kind of increase the intensity because you're not playing those games at that time. So this is your chance to really get stronger, break down muscle tissue and improve your game. And I've gotten similar questions where people are worried about overtraining or yeah. working too hard, right? And that's, I think where she's going with it yeah. Yeah. is you know, how much is too much yeah. when I have games coming up on Saturdays or Wednesdays or whatever. And nutrition plays a lot into that yeah, as well. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, if, if you're wanting to do more, if you're wanting to improve and do above and beyond what maybe your coach is already doing with you weekly, you got to make sure that your nutrition is compensating enough and your rest is compensating yeah. enough to make up for that recovery. That's a great um, point. You know, is there too much? Yeah, obviously, like he said, you wouldn't want to go do a, a leg workout and then go out and play a game. But managing your time and your workouts accordingly, I think you can get away with some extra training to push you a little bit further yep. or improve your strength, improve your agility, whatever it may be, assuming that your rest and, and food intake nutrition yeah. is on point. I mm -hmm. mean, as an athlete, your nutrition is going to be everything because you're going to have to get in a lot of calories if you're really, like, you know, you're working your body as much as you are. Like, look at Michael Phelps, like mm -hmm. 10,000 calories during his season. So <laughs> crazy. you got to have well, to... Yeah, and some people think that being athletic or being an athlete means you can eat whatever you want, and that's actually not true yeah. because you'll get better results if you eat the right foods and the right quantities and you really pay attention instead of just going on binge fests and then ignoring a couple yeah. of meals. And yeah. so just don't be lazy about your nutrition. If you really dial it in and put more effort on your nutrition, you'll have better games, better overall fitness, and you'll just feel better. Better games and better gains. Better right. games. <laughs> we gotta make a games and games. We gotta make a t-shirt saying that. Better games, games better games. games. <laughs> All right, thanks for thanks that question. <laughs> okay, today's question of the day is, did you or do you currently play competitive sports? Comment down below. All right, now the next video I want you to watch is how much is too much exercise? We answer this question for you. If you're wondering, go click over here and watch that video.